Hey, only a few days left until the beginning of the 30 day super fit challenge. The planning stage is so integral here. Today I want to go through my process when I question a, a potential client in order that I can help them achieve their goals. Now you know that I have 17 onboard direct clients and then all of you get all the information, all the paperwork, all the documents down below in the description. So down below in the description now is my questioning process. There is a deliberate psychology behind this process and I want to explain that to you to maximize your potential for success. And when I say success, it all comes back to what you want from your body in order to help you satisfy your particular goals. So we never want to be skinny for the sake of being skinny. We want to possibly increase strength, possibly eat differently in order to achieve a life goal. Whether that goal is playing more with our children, sleeping more deeply, life goals. That's why we change our body for life goals. Sometimes we get a little bit confused by the media and we find ourselves wanting to be skinny for skinny's sake. I've said in other videos and I'll say it again now, throw away the magazines. Don't look at the television. It's not about being skinny. It's about having a functional body that helps support your soul goals, your consciousness goals and your life goals. Okay, questionnaire. First couple of questions here and you can look down below. How would you describe yourself? What do you want out of life? Why do you want it? What do you want to achieve out of the 30 day program? Everything in this program relates back to what you want to achieve in your life. Nothing in the program is about being skinny, being more sexy. It's about how you feel about yourself. When I read these questions, I get an idea or a bit of a window into your thinking to know where your confidence is, are you aware of your life goals? Because if you lack some clarity in your life goals, you're going to lack that clarity possibly in your body goals. And they always need to relate. If they don't, sometimes I have a client that might say, I want to lose two dress sizes for a wedding. That needs to relate back to, I want to increase my sense of worth about myself so that I am a better mother. So it always needs to relate back. And that's what I'm looking for in the questionnaire. doesn't matter if it doesn't, but it helps me to know how to help you. And it's all about you achieving the most out of your life so that you give to the community, your family, the environment. The factors in my life which make me feel good about myself are, and they relate back to your fitness. What is fitness for you? Visualize what sort of body do you want? What does it look like? I want to know what it looks like exactly. Because when you visualize something, you are much more likely to turn that into reality. Would you describe yourself as half glass full or half glass empty? You can see what I'm looking for there. Whether you're positive, whether you believe in yourself, so I can support that process. Would you describe yourself as a minimalist or do you collect things? People that collect things, people that consume, people that are swayed by commercialism are less likely, less likely, not completely unlikely, but less likely to respect their body. The more we collect, the more we need to collect, the more we need to shop, the more we're distracted. The more we're distracted out here, the less we're in here, the less we know what we want. So when I know that someone may hoard or collect or likes to purchase or by, I know that I need to bring them back to a sense of self. How do I express stress? Again, that helps me to understand how to support your body change. Do you meditate? Do you do yoga, yoga pilates or stretch? Absolutely vital that we are mobile, we can stretch, our joints can move freely. Not only a joint that moves freely can contract effectively, and the metabolism goes up. It also means a joint that moves freely. We feel more satisfied when we eat, when we meditate and do yoga. And 
the chance of injury reduces and it increases our sense of health and our sense of happiness when a joint moves freely. Sleep ritual I've got here and sleep patterns. People that have a definitive ritual leading up to bedtime, i.e. they brush their teeth at a certain time, they turn off all technology at a certain time, they have a minimalist bedroom without much clutter, they have a defined sleep ritual, they're more likely to feel satisfied, happy. Now I know those mums out there, I'm a mum, mum of four, I know that's really tough, but we need to keep aiming for that. Aiming for that. I know, I, I do understand that it's really challenging. Then I've got here foods you like, foods you want to avoid, typical breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That gives me more information on how to support you. How much alcohol do you have per week? And again, I need to break it to you, not so slowly. Alcohol. As soon as you drink alcohol, you decrease your body's ability to burn fat, you increase the body's ability to store fat, and it plays havoc with your GI levels for days. So a couple of glasses of wine, it takes three, four days to begin to recover from that. So I'm not saying don't drink, I'm saying be aware that there are almost no health benefits to drinking. And smoking. If you're going to smoke, you may as well take this cardboard box and um, stick some saturated fat on it, some carcinogens, and, and have a chew on that. Now, exercise history. I've got here your exercise history. When I know your history through childhood, and childhood development into your teen years, I know what has affected your mobility and what your history is. So that gives me more information to know how to support you. And then after that is all the medical information so that we can keep you really safe. If you've got several risk factors, even if you've only got a couple of risk factors, it's always a good idea to get the go-ahead from your doctor. Look after yourself. You want to be here for the long haul. You want to achieve your goals. So look after yourself. So these questions are about helping you. These questions are designed not only to remind you and reinforce that your body supports your life force, your soul. Your body is the temple to your soul. What does your soul want to achieve in this life? Let that temple support that process. So what are you going to put into your body? What are you going to consume? How do you behave? How do you sleep? All this gives me that information so that we can adapt your behaviours. It's difficult to change. We resist change. It takes at least 21 days to establish a new habit. So let's get all the information. Have a look at the questionnaire below. Have a think about it. And then we'll bring in more videos in the next couple of days about the preparing stage. I cannot wait to start this 30-day challenge. Inhale. In through the nose. 